Hi everyone. Today we're going to learn how to use Euler's method to approximate the solution of an initial value problem. So this problem may seem a little tricky, but trust me, it's not too bad. The only thing that we need to memorize is this equation right here. y is equal to y of n minus 1 plus y prime of n minus 1 times h. And y of n minus 1 simply means the y before it. So if we're on this row right here, the y before it would be the one in the previous row. In this table, I put t, y prime, and y prime times h for convenience sake. Now, the first t value is always given in the initial condition, y of 0, making t equal to 0. The last t value is the one that we want to go up to. We want to go up to t equals 1 half. We are given that the step size h is equal to 1 fourth. Every subsequent t increases by 1 fourth. For the first y value, we're actually given that in the initial condition once again. y of 0 is equal to 2. y prime of 0 can be calculated using the differential equation given in the problem. y prime is equal to y squared, so 2 squared minus t, which is 0, minus 4. Therefore, y prime is equal to 0. And then if you multiply h, which is equal to 1 fourth, times 0, you get 0. The y for t equals 1 fourth will be calculated using this equation. y of n minus 1, meaning the y before it. So we know the y before it is this one right here, 2, plus y prime of n minus 1, that's the y prime before it, 0, times h, which is 1 fourth still. So this still equals 2. y prime, using the equation that we're given in this problem, is y squared, which is 2 squared, minus t, which is 1 fourth, minus 4. y prime becomes negative 1 fourth. And negative 1 fourth times h, which is 1 fourth, becomes negative 1 sixteenth. Finally, for the last y value, which is the one we're trying to calculate for, we do the same procedure. So y equals y of n minus 1, the y before it, so the y before this one is right here, 2, plus y prime of n minus 1, the y prime before it, which is negative 1 fourth, times h, which is 1 fourth. This becomes 31 over 16. The approximation for y of 1 half equals 31 over 16. I hope this helped clear up any confusion for Euler's method, and have a great day, guys. See you in the next video.